Welcome to Brunch and Crunch. It's still scares me every week. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, hi guys. So this week we're gonna talk about um, our intro to our new series. Yeah, we are gonna do a new series called Action Heroes Take On Vulnerabilities. Um, and so while I think we're probably going to drop these like twice a week just to kind of keep you guys on point with it and then it helps us make sure that we're getting the good content out for you. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we'll start with the first one that we're going to talk about this week and then we'll just kind of keep rolling with it. But um, let's talk about what vulnerabilities actually mean. Like what is the definition of being vulnerable and what in vulnerabilities? Well, it's really funny because... I think we thought it meant something different, or like if you get into like common like colloquialisms like vulnerability, right. you think something different. But listen to this. So vulnerable, Merriam-Webster dictionary says she's smart. <laughs> Ca- uh, definition of vulnerable: capable of being physically or emotionally wounded, open to attack or damage, liable to increased penalties, but entitled to increased bonuses after winning a game in contract bridge. Okay, not kind of the definition, we're going that third one. Yeah. But, so let's talk about the first two. Capable of being physically or emotionally wounded, and then open to attack or damage. That sounds really That is aggressive. super aggressive. Like, when I think, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling vulnerable today. Yeah. Like, because you might be feeling a little sad or something. Yeah. But if you think about it, you kind of, this, I'm sure we'll talk about this in one of our series, but that's kind of heavy speech for yourself to say you're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling open to attack. Right. Or, wounded but that's exactly what it is I mean you you are opening yourself up for that now with that being said you're the one that's in control of letting people attack you you're the one that's in control of you know whether or not you feel vulnerable and opening yourself up for that at the end of the day we do it every day we open ourselves up for you know to be attacked emotionally physically whatever but um and I think it's you know it's it is up to us to kind of I don't want to say put up walls because I feel like people do that, but but no, not but you're right, not put up walls, but I think definitely arm yourself with the tools exactly that can help you get through those moments right. of where you're feeling really vulnerable or mm-hmm. you are feeling open to attack for whatever reason. And uh, there's some common ones out there that yeah. you know we can cover, and you know even some tools that. Well, and I think what we we'll find is as we're as we talk about the ones that like we ourselves feel. Right. And that, you know, we have friends that have said this to us and, and you know, um, family members that have kind of opened up about this, you know, throughout your whole life. More often than not, those those vulnerabilities, they're lies that you are telling yourself. Absolutely. And they that's, yeah. And so, but, and that's the thing. It's like, it's reworking your mind about it and reworking the way that you think about it. And that's what we're going to present to you guys over this next series is, what we deal with <laughs> yeah. on a very regular basis and, and you know what we hear about from other friends and and then you know what we've done to help combat those what our friends have done to help combat those and hopefully it will help you guys um, start addressing those you know of your own and, and, and figuring out ways to progress out of that um, so with that I think what are, we want them to do something. Yeah, absolutely. So we definitely want, to, to, you know, this. We always say this every week, and you know, it's great to get you guys feedback. But mm-hmm. this, by no means, is a lecture. This is really just a way to get the open communication and the dialogue yeah. going. Um, working on a website soon to hopefully make it a little bit easier as well. Mm-hmm. But right now, email us. Slide into our DMs. Slide into tell us what your vulnerabilities are. Tell us how you're combating them. Or you know what? You know, this is the, the psychology in me, major is going to come out in a minute. Ask for help. If you just want to one on one say, hey, you know what, I'm struggling with imposter syndrome or I'm struggling with body positivity issues, you know, what can I do to help myself? Mm-hmm. We are here to help. This is not just a, like I always say, two bobbly headed girls talking and drinking. Like, we're, we actually care uh-huh. and we're here for you guys and we just really want to, you know, to open ourselves up to allow people yeah. to, you know, ask us questions and, you know, help help the community in general. Yeah, yeah, and that's so, really why we started this was to, I mean, I think anybody that gets into the fitness industry in a sense of like where you're training or doing, you know, nutrition, it is to 
one, you're passionate about it because you like it, you enjoy it, but it's also to help other people. And so right. um, as it relates to this, I know I found I typically am a therapist along with a trainer with a lot of my clients. And some of the times it's just listening. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think, you know, we want this to be an open forum. Um, if you want it, if you want us to talk about it, we can talk about it on, on one of the things. We'll add something to the initial series that we've put together. Um, but yeah, let us know and uh, hopefully it will be helpful. Absolutely. Well, All let's right. gear up for the series. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's kick it off. All right. You guys come sip with us. <laughs>